What is up everybody, welcome to Mavers VR, where today we are going to be talking about the new HTC Vive Cosmos announcement, which is now available for pre-order on the website linked in the description below. Before we get into any of those pre-order details, let's talk about the tracking on the headset itself. So we've known now for some time that this was going to be an inside-out tracking device made by HTC. Much more like a Rift S competitor than the original HTC Vive with the base station tracking, which at this point in the game is pretty expected nonetheless. Thanks to tracking technology nowadays, things like base stations are really no longer needed in your home. But with that being said, and all of my personal experiences, base station tracking is still the optimal system for tracking in VR. With the HTC Vive being the original consumer headset that provided this type of tracking in home, and the Index being the latest to take it even further with their Lighthouse 2.0 base stations plus knuckle controllers, I definitely say it's an optimal experience versus the others. But I think it would be fair to say that it isn't a necessity to have a good VR experience in your home. Inside Out Tracking Tech has made some significant advances since its original consumer production in the Windows headsets. After using the Rift S as much as I have, I welcome it with open arms now. Cosmos has six cameras on it for a large tracking range, plus it should be much quicker to set up than the Vive or the Vive Pros. This was definitely noticeable when going from the Rift CV1 to the Rift S, and I'm sure it will transfer for HTC as well. Due to the inside out tracking on the Cosmos, they've had to design all new controllers for the device. As you can see on the screen, they definitely have a sleeker look than the Vive and Vive Pro's controllers. They actually look more closely to something like the Oculus Touch for both the Rift S and the Quest headset. The major difference here is definitely going to be the tracking source. The Cosmos uses more of a light bar slash lightning design, while the Rift controllers still use a constellation type IR design. The one thing that has me the most intrigued is the bumpers above the triggers where your finger rests. Especially considering that all controllers I've used in VR have one trigger and one grip function for each hand. The controllers are labeled to have touch sensors built into them, so I'm wondering if this will allow for more of a mid-ranged functionality of finger tracking when in game. The rest of the controller has your typical functions that you'd come to expect in the modern era of VR controllers. The thumbstick is there, the AB X while style button placements, and plus the system button. The controllers also take AA batteries and are not rechargeable, which is a huge difference from the original Vive controllers, which is also similar to the Rift controllers as well. Moving on to the resolution of the headset. The Cosmos is going to have a resolution of 2880 by 1700, which will offer a 1440 by 1700 pixel experience per eye. Operating at 90 hertz, and a field of view maximum at 110 degrees and adjustable IPD. Connections on the headset will be USB-C to 3.0 and DisplayPort 1.2 with the options to add mods, which happens to be the next thing I wanna talk about on the Cosmos. So we all pretty much knew beforehand that the wireless adapter was going to be a thing for the Cosmos. But I know some people, especially myself, were left wondering, what am I supposed to do with these base stations if I get the Cosmos? So HTC has gone and made an adapter, releasing it in the first quarter of 2020, which will allow you to use your Cosmos with your base stations. It's literally just a face cover that covers the front, and it has the lighthouse tracking system built into it. For me, this is a big deal. As I said before, I don't mind inside-out tracking. It's definitely a viable source for tracking in this day and age, but I absolutely prefer lighthouse tracking overall. It's the smoothest, most accurate, and usually once set up, the most hassle-free when it comes to jumping back into VR. The adapter itself will allow you to use this with all your base station devices like your trackers, your old Vive wands, and even your Valve controllers. It is also said to cost less than 200 bucks. It'll probably have a $199 price tag at the most. The headset itself will be selling for the price of $699, which is definitely more than the Rift S. You can see the specs of the headset on the screen right now yourself, and with all the options it has moving forward, this really looks like the HMD you could keep using as time moves on. It has the highest resolution of any HTC headset, and it's got the most modular system in place, which is a sign that this headset wants to stick around and show its guns. Let me know down below what you guys think. Will you be getting one? Did you already pre-order or is it going to be a pass? Let me know why down below too. Let's get this conversation going. I for one am definitely excited to see where this goes and see where HTC decides to take it in time. Anyway guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I got a lot of awesome VR content coming for you soon and I'm out of here. Peace.